Welcome to another day of beach fishing. Joey Antonelli here. Got none other than my Tsunami Salt X 6000 pair on the Tsunami Salt X Surf Rod. I got the 11 footer, so you can be pretty sure we are going for some big fish. I can see some big fish all the way down the beach. I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick little GoPro battery change. See what we can find. They're blowing up big time out there. Look at those thrashes. We're getting on it. Look at that's so much bait out there. Look at them, they're blowing up. Big tarpons. Could be big tarpon. Yeah. Wow. Oh, sharks out there. God, the sharks are fired up. Make sure my drag's all right. Oh, they're blowing up out there. Look at the tarpon sh shining right in the shore break. I can't even talk. Tarpon's on the outside. Oh my gosh. All right, this is going to be a show on this one. We're gonna get some big fish going on. Chase is fishing the nine foot or nine and a half foot. Same setup as me, just kind of the next size down. Nine and a half footer with the 4,000. Awesome all around setup. If I could only have one setup, that would be it. But since we're tarping around today, I'm using my big one. I'm bumping mullet like crazy. Sharks jumping. Osprey's diving. Oh, big tarpon. Gotta stop for a second, do a little preachy preach because you know how I am with my tarpon. We got a big old tarpon up there. Thanks to Brown's Taxidermy. Check them out, Port Canaveral. Been in business for 548 years, about. Um, but I'm gonna show you how I fight the tarpon and how I think you should be fighting a tarpon. If you are spending an hour or two hours fighting a tarpon, you shouldn't be. I'm using 20 pound braid with 80 pound leader joined with an FG knot, which has almost 100% breaking strength. And when you do that, you can put a stupid amount of pressure on the fish. I tell everyone, put a scale on your reel. See how much pressure you're actually putting. When you wrap your line and pull your braid with your hand, if you can pull line like that without cutting yourself, your drag's too light. Uh, this entire clip is not edited except for maybe the audio a little bit. But we're gonna go ahead and get into the action now and show you how fast you can put the heat to one of these fish. There he is. Woo! Tarpon on. Tarpon on. Look at that reel go. Staying tight, staying tight. All right. I was just about to switch and start fishing live bait. I'm glad I didn't. There he is out there. Whoa, it's a nice fun size, fun size. Look at that salt X go. Again, yeah, we're fishing the Salt X 6000 by Tsunami. The Salt X Carbon Shield, or fishing the Salt X. We're fishing this. 
We're fishing the Salt X 6000 by Tsunami with the 11 foot Salt X surf rod. That 11 footer lets you get way out there, a lot of power in your cast and fighting fish. And I call that fish a fun size, but it's still a 60 pound fish or 70 pound fish, I would guess. What do you think about it, Chase? Love it. Beautiful. I was running backwards with that thing, setting the hook over and over and over. But we got them pinned at least for now. Got 20 pound uh, braid on here with 80 pound tsunami fluorocarbon. That's my fish rolling right out there on the outside. Ooh. Gotta stay tight. Gosh, look at all that bait. Fish blowing up, fish rolling. So many sharks. Gotta make sure a shark doesn't touch my line. Woo! Oh man, the amount of pressure you gotta put on these fish. Look at that shark right there in the trough. Two of them. Three of them. How am I gonna land this thing with all these sharks? I wanna get my little toes bit. That is your mullet run action right there. All right. Got him in the trough right there. You'll see him in this wave. There he is right in that wave. See him shining. We got the best part of the fight now. We'll either horse him in and woo, look at that thing. What's that? Oh, he ain't landed yet. We just scoot my stuff up the beach far. All right, it's right in that wave right there. That's a bigger fish than I thought. Got nothing in my pockets. Right down his back. Woo! Chase, can you do the camera? Yeah, I got you. Just wipe the lens every now and then if you need to. This is sick. <laughs>
so close to getting him. <laughs> All right, here we go. I hope I got it. This saw that real Big wave. Big wave coming. Go under now. Another one, another one. Still super feisty. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> That was sick. All right, we're behind schedule now, like Chase said. We got our fish. Big old tarpon. We gotta give Chase a shout out. Hey, stop running away and try and fish on <laughs> That was sick. I haven't caught a tarpon all year. I've hooked a few. But I put crazy amount of pressure on them and I've been fraying them all off, but that one worked out good. So we're gonna catch back up to these fish. Keep casting, but that alone made it for me right there. The Salt X 6000, 11 foot Salt X surf rod, and about six feet of, six or seven feet of 80 pound tsunami fluorocarbon. And I'm fishing the little hoagie paddle tail right now, but all those swim baits work good with a strong hook, like the no lie bait needed. Awesome lure for it. I forgot him one. Struggling to take off. Don't drop it. Don't drop it. Don't drop it. There he goes. He's got both feet on it. One and done. But when you're tarpon fishing one and done, there's nothing wrong with that. One for one on tarpon. Now I want to show you something. I got this wog. This is a rinse kit. You turn it on, holds a couple gallons of water, and you just rinse off. Get the water off you for when you're at beaches that have bad showers or no showers. You can charge your cell phone and it, the charge on this thing lasts like a stupid long time and that's it right there it's a rinse kit i don't get paid by them or anything like that i just thought it was a kind of a cool thing you can throw on the back of your car or truck and it heats up the water uh, from the sun it just gets nice and hot in florida and keep it clean